I'm about to share the simplest, yes, most effective framework you can use to get focus. Until I learned this, I had a rough time getting to do the work, right? Because when I graduated like a decade ago, I was in a very dark place. I had been pulling all nighters for like every week for like seven years. And the last four to five months, I was in beast mode, like literally working 16 hour days, seven days a week to get done in six months, what would normally take three years, right? So I was totally exhausted. I ended up like with a rotten brain, as I, as I normally say, and I had like a very hard time focusing. That's the beginning of my peak performance journey, right? And until I fully understood what I'm going to share with you, it was super hard. I was, I tried everything because at that time I even developed narcolepsy, which is a, a syndrome in which you fall asleep every couple of hours. So you're not a functional human being, ADHD. I also massive sciatic attacks because of the stress that I had in my body that sent me to the hospital like every two or three months. So it, it was, it was not a, a good place to be in. But when I finally understood what I'm going to share with you, everything changed. Not like no all of a sudden, but it didn't take long for me to start regaining that ability to focus. And mind yourself, this is before the TikTok era, right? This is when I was first starting in Twitter like 10 years ago. So this probably was that my unfocus was exacerbated by the Twitter. But these days, this could be even more pernicious because TikTok is 10 times more addictive than Twitter, right? So hopefully this is helpful. Now, I won't delay it. Here it goes. Focus is not something you do. Focus is something that naturally ensues when your mind is calm. So if you calm your mind, you will get focus. And the best way of calming your mind is by removing all distractions. This is thinking via negativa or like inverse thinking like Nassim Taleb would discuss. If you do not do distraction, you get focus. Super simple, but super powerful because all of a sudden you have a roadmap for getting in focus. You know how to get focus. The lower hanging fruit is all of those external distractions that in essence bother you when you're trying to do good work, right? So you're trying to get focus and you have those environmental triggers like noises or smells or people reaching out to you and distracting, disrupting your flow, right? That's the lower hanging fruit because you can easily remove them. You can work in your own space. You can lock the door. You can put your phone away and that will minimize your distraction. But that's only 10% of the distraction that truly matter. Because remember, focus is a product of a calm mind. And if your mind is not calm, you will not have the focus you want. And you can make this, you can experiment this. Like right now, start a 90 minute work session and see how fast your mind wants to get distracted. Quite easy, right? And why is that? Because your mind is default distracted. Your mind wants to be distracted because that's an evolutionary mechanism. He who was the most distracted 200,000 years ago would survive the predatory attacks from tigers or lions because they would be able to spot them faster. If someone was very focused on the task at hand, he would inevitably get eaten. But now these days, distractions don't serve an evolutionary purpose anymore. Distractions are just arise from the misalignment between your brain and your environment you inhabit. So if you do not take control of it, you will just not be able to focus as much as you need in order to get the job done. And now how can you over time remove distractions by training your mind to be calm and collected every hour of the day. And the best protocol for this is meditation or mindfulness. It's just sitting 10 minutes a day in an empty room or in a room in which you are not disturbed and just paying conscious attention to your thoughts and see what those thoughts are. Over time, you will start seeing massive return on this little time investment because you will learn to detach yourself from those thoughts and your emotions. So every time you're trying to do something hard and the brain wants to distract you, you will see it and you will get back to the present moment. And over time, you will be removing all of those emotional urges that do not allow you to be focus in the present moment. Now, also take rest and recovery protocol seriously. This is very important. I keep telling because our clients, we work with very high level people, people that are truly willing to be their uh, best self and they're already very good. And I've noticed that every time that we save them a bit of time or we show them a new framework or protocol to get more done, instead of devoting that extra time to rest and relaxation in order to recover from the exertion of hard work, they just trickle down. And at some point that will stress you out and that will create 
burnout. Long-term stress inevitably leads to burnout. And burnout is a very hard thing to manage. We have a video on it I'm going to be linking uh, so you can check out how to remove burnout even if you're still working. But in essence, your mind will not be calm if you are overstressed. So having good rest and recovery protocols are absolutely crucial in order to get a calm mind. So focus is the absence of distractions. If you remove distractions, you'll get focus. But you also need a calm mind because if your mind is not calm, you will always be at the mercy of those internal distractions. You will always have those thoughts or emotions, those behavioral impulses that you have no control over that will dictate how good you are able to focus. This is the difference truly between top and elite performance. If you look at what makes the elite elite in sports specifically, is the ability to remain in the game, is the ability to truly stay with the task at hand until it is completed. If you have your mind throwing at you thoughts and emotions and stuff that just do not serve the purpose of the moment, you will get distracted and you will lose. And this is why it is so important to master your mind. So I always recommend meditate. It is mental training. It is the best mental training you can do. The more you meditate, the better you become at focusing, the better your decision making, but also cut yourself some slack. Do not need to work that hard. In fact, the less hard you work, the more leverage you will be able to find in your day today. So what do you think about this? Comment below if you have ever thought of focus in this way. I read every comment. See you in the next video.